similar to the B312, we've got a couple of maintenance checks that we want to do regularly. Uh, at a bare minimum, we want to do this pattern test weekly. And again, it's just going to make sure that our heads are printing correctly. It's going to tell us if we need to do take extra steps. So to do that, we come to function, down to cleaning. And I guess while I'm talking about this, we talk about the menu. So the, the menu will indicate your available actions. So right here, if I press enter, nothing happens because my available actions are left, up, down, and right. So I can go left to go back out. I can go up, down to change the different options, or I can go right into that menu. Now I have this little enter key. Now if I press enter, it will do a test print. If we hit enter, it will print out and we'll get this. That's also a smart thing to do if somebody hasn't used it in a while to make sure that everything's working before you start printing. So there's really two purpose of this. This actually gets a little ink to flow through the head if you haven't been printing with it, and it then tells you the state of the head, or if you're gonna run a big job and you don't know the state of the head, run this first, make sure that you don't have a bunch of lines missing, and then you can be confident your job's gonna work the way you expect it to. Okay. Let's say we did have a significant amount of dot dropout like we talked about before. There are automatic cleanings, and those are normal, medium, and powerful. You always want to start with normal, and I would say run two to three normals before you move to a medium, and run two to three mediums before you move to a powerful. Each of those is an automatic thing where it will force ink through the heads, and uses each one uses subsequently more ink. And the idea is basically, if we're making progress with the normal, don't move to a medium. So you, you see there's a bunch of dropout on your first test print. Let's run a normal. Now, you, after the normal's done, let's do another test print and see where we're at. If we've made progress, as in fewer lines are missing, it depends if, if how many lines are still missing. If, like Rob said, if it's just one or two lines missing, you're probably okay to print. If there's still 12 lines missing, but it used to be that there was 20 lines missing, okay, let's try to do another normal, because the normal's making okay, progress. Okay, normal, okay. Do another normal until the normal's not pro giving you any progress anymore. Okay. At that point, if you're still missing too many lines to, to actually print, well, we've tried normal three times, and each time we've test printed, it got a little bit better, but it's not good enough. Let's go up to a medium and see what happens now. We're gonna do the same strategy with medium. We're gonna keep doing medium until we stop making progress. Okay. At that point, if we're still not good enough to print, that's when you go to powerful, and powerful is sort of like the last resort cleaning because it's using the most amount of ink. It's using uh, the most everything, so it's the most resource-intensive cleaning method that there is for the auto cleaning methods and you don't want to do it unless you have to because normal and medium use a lot less ink than that. But we'd rather do that than not be able to print. So we'll do powerful. If powerful cleans it all up, you're good to go. You waste a little bit of ink, but it's better than having to do other things which would be like replace the head or things like that that are really expensive. But we're here for the manual cleaning. So, so in the cleaning menu, um, you can go all the way down to uh, manual or from test print, you can just go up to manual and press enter. It's all detailed in the user's guide as well, which you can find by scanning the QR code on the side. So in the old printers, it used to kind of tell you what to do. Um, here it doesn't, it just asks if you're finished. So the process is start with manual cleaning, come over here. There's a thumb screw right here. Uh, just a screw that you can use your fingers on. You don't need a tool, so you can just grab it with your hand. Gotcha. So this cut rail comes out. Oh, gosh, it's, so it's not scary, I promise. At this point, we can move the head over. It actually is nice. It's got these two little LED lights on the bottom of it that uh, we can use to see what you're doing. And I'll, I'll demonstrate this on the paper, but what we're looking for the is the frame, right, is on this outside edge. And you see this inside sort of uh, other colored oval? Uh -huh. That's the head. So the inside you don't want to touch? You don't want to touch the head. Or if you touch the head? Eh. It's, it's not going to kill it. It's better not to. It's just better not to. And that's something, if we if we had a serious dot dropout issue that we can't resolve with the automatic cleaning, I would soak these and kind of scrub the head very gently. But it's an absolute last resort. So the head is the center part. Correct. You only want to touch the out. You try to right. Touch the so outside. here I'm just cleaning this outer frame, sides, you know, front, back sides. You see, I'm getting a little bit of ink, but there's really nothing that we haven't done much printing. 
But the idea, again, the same as the other one, is we want to prevent any ink from drying on that frame okay. that will impact the seal on the cap tops. Okay. So we open the left side, do the heads, we open the right side. Again, There's it looks very cap similar. Cap tops. Okay. Wiper. Wiper. So okay. Cap top, same thing. We clean the top of this. I'll sometimes take my, there's like a little fin inside here, and I'll sometimes take that and get that into the into the groove between the cap top and the edge of the cap top holder, and get that cleaned out. Again, there's not much to do here. Because but if I get the inside wet, it's okay. Correct. The cap tops you don't have to worry about is being as careful. You don't want to tear up the rubber, but you don't have to worry about it. They're not as delicate. And then the, the... And then front back of the wiper. In the top of the wiper, right? So at this point we're finished, we hit enter. It's gonna bring that head back over. It's actually gonna go through a small automatic cleaning. And then once that head's returned, we can reinsert the cover. So you see here it says cleaning, minute 27. So you'll hear this pump kick on. Another thing while that's going to, to mention is, you see down here, this is the waste container. Okay. And you see, discard the ink before it reaches the arrow. So as this fills out, you see how the stuff's going in there right now? That's, that's while it's cleaning, it's spitting ink in there, spitting cleaning fluid in there. This will fill up with ink and you just want to keep an eye on it because obviously you want to replace that before it does. So this says so, cleaning, uh, it's done. So she can put that back in. Mm -hmm. Right, so you're gonna go you're just gonna down. grab the cover and pull it towards you. Down. Yep. Like this. Or press in on it. Yeah. There okay. you go. And then you see, you see these slots right here and right here. You can see that those. And then that's where that screw is gonna go to, right? Yep. I think you've got There's it. A slot here. Maybe. Is the screw yep. going on top? Yep. Over here. There you go. And now you're gonna just put that thumb screw back in. Tight. Tighten it down. It doesn't need to be cranked down. No. What, what that rail does is, as this head comes across, it pushes on this little lever uh -huh. to bring down the sheet cut blade. Gotcha. So you'll notice when I do sheet cut, that head detaches and goes all the way over there. It's actuating on that flag so that that blade is down to cut the sheet as it comes back across. Okay. That's what's called the cut rail. If this sits here for a week, week unused, every, I don't know if it's a couple times a day, but you'll hear this little click, 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 click going on. It's doing this automatic cleaning, kind of cycling the ink through the head, keep everything flowing. As it does that, it builds up a little ink on the head. So over the course of a week, you're gonna be like, why is this head dirty? We haven't even printed, which just because of the, the cleaning cycles that it runs throughout any gotcha. given week. And I guess it also helps the ink not dry up too. Correct. Gotcha. Yep. Okay.